for Brenda Freeze. It is a game she and her players will never, ever forget. From 10 and 18, her first year, to a national championship in her fifth. So coach, take me back to 2006, because that was the last time Maryland hoisted up that national trophy. What was that time like for you? Just a young team, you know, fearless. You know, they didn't know any better that uh, they weren't supposed to win it. It was such a journey, an incredible ride to be able to win those six games. I mean, you couldn't have scripted it any better. Nine Sweet 16 appearances, six Elite Eights, three Final Fours in that title in 2006. Did you ever envision this level of success heading into Maryland? Never, in my wildest dreams. You know, I mean, obviously as a competitor, you hoped you could be great. Again, I'm so grateful for the opportunity, been able to coach so many phenomenal players who have led to, to all of this success. I'm just, you know, excited about the journey that we've been able to have, you know, within all these years. The Texas Longhorns with a shocking upset of Maryland are headed to the Elite Eight. Do you think Maryland was the best team in the nation last year? I do. I do. We ran into a tough, uh, cold shooting night. That's what March Madness is about. Last year was a special year. You know, we had lost so much the year before that I don't think, uh, you know, there was an expectation of much, you know, going into that season. So our motto this year is, you know, complete the mission. And uh, they definitely have some unfinished business that they're very motivated to, to be able to complete. What did you all learn about that experience in the NCAA tournament from that early exit? Just the pressure of it. You know, we really only had two players on our roster that had ever played in an NCAA tournament when uh, the COVID year, the year before, was taken away from our young team. So you can't script it. You know, you have to live it and go through it. So for us, the combination of being able to play last season in the postseason, uh, the schedule we've put together this year is the toughest schedule we will have ever faced. And in the time I've been at Maryland will definitely prepare us for March. But now with a year of chemistry under you guys' belt, how scary is this team? You know, it's real scary. It's exciting, you know, a wealth of experience. When your three seniors all decide to, to return for an additional year, you know, it gives you a phenomenal amount of experience. We brought in two additional freshmen that, that are finding their way. You know, we're moving very quickly with that experience that we have. So the sky's the limit. I think for us now it's, you know, tweaking things, uh, being more specific, you know, things we can do on the defensive end where we didn't get a lot of time last year to be able to implement. So, you know, that opportunity, I think, on both ends of the floor is, uh, you know, going to be a tremendous weapon for us. And why will March of 2022 be the year of the turtle? Because we're going to complete the mission, you know, we are, you know, grounded, we're hungry, we're humbled, you know, we're prepared and, you know, we're going to go through this schedule one game at a time to, you know, ultimately prepare us uh, for March.